Entry, I have been trying to do videos and they keep failing on me. <laughs> so let's try again. Today we're just going to do a little short one. Um, it's winter in New Zealand and it's gold and I thought we would talk about Bastrika and Kapalabhati. Both of these are energizing, revitalizing or vitalizing breaths that also heat your body up from the inside out. So um, uh, let's start with the easiest one, Kapalabhati or shining skull, shining forehead. It just requires you to focus on your exhale, that's it. And it's in and out through the nose, you don't have to think about the inhale at all, that's just going to happen automatically. As long as you can use your abdominal muscles and push the breath out of your body, that's all it is. The inhale happens when you release the abdomen. It's just going to come in. The vacuum of the lungs will pull that breath back in, so don't worry about it. You've got to forcefully release the air through the exhale. Belly comes in, release. And that's using your transverse abdominus muscles. If you need to blow your nose, go ahead and do that. And it's going to um, firm up your core, it's going to energize your body. And that's a nice way to warm you up, heat you up, uh, get some energy flowing. And it's good for the circulation in the face, hence the name Kapalbati, shining skull. Like, you'll be radiant. <laughs> now you can do that for 30 seconds, you can do it for a minute, you can do it for five minutes, taking a break in between maybe, because it's quite a lot of effort and you'll get nice toned abs as well. Now uh, that's good if you have any blood pressure issues. If you don't, you can move on to the next one. If you do, I would just stick to that one. Now if your blood pressure is all good and fine uh, and you want to get more heat going in your body, then we have Bhastrika, also known as Bellows Breath or Breath of Fire. <laughs> because it will heat you up and it's really going to work your core muscles as well. And this one, we focus on both the inhale and the exhale. So inhale, abdomen expands, exhale, just like we did before, force it out. In and out through the nose. Now when I first learnt this, um, I learnt it in three rounds of 36 to make 108 rounds. And a round is an in-breath and an out-breath, counted as one. That is one complete breath. You take a break in between. Now you can also do one round with your hands here, you could do another round with your arms here, you could do another round with your arms here. Depending on what you do with your arms actually changes the capacity of the lungs as well. And how fast you go is up to you. You can do it nice and slow. And I suggest you start with slow first just to understand the mechanics of your muscular movement, your diaphragmatic breath, and um, you can slowly build the speed up over time and also just gauge whether it makes you dizzy or not. So let's try it together. Now let's go a little faster. Now you could do just bunny's breath. It's a little bit higher in the chest and you don't really get the work in the core. And it might make you a little dizzy and a little bit hyperventilated. <laughs> so try and bring the breath down into the core of the body. Take a deep breath in, relax. Take a moment, let everything settle, and then go again. Have a go, see how that feels. It should energize and warm you and rev you up for these cold winter days. I'll see you really soon.